Hello family, this is Gamers Forum back with another interesting video on Clash of Kings. So guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe here on this channel. If fully focused on tips and tricks regarding Clash of Kings, you will get all the necessary data and details over each and every event of this channel. So guys, in today's video, uh, we are going to talk about the latest event that is being introduced today, and I'm going to tell you the basic tips that you can open out all the chest as well as you can get two of the unique array set for free out here guys yes guys i'm talking about the orange array guys because we know that many of the non-spender used to struggle for arrays they don't have platinum coils and they don't have money to buy buy that particular one so for that one uh, for those ones who are active non-spenders like in this particular castle that I'm having in 4 to 2 you all know that it is a non-spending castle so uh, for like this one if you are an active player then you can open all the chests for free guys all you need to give some of the time and you need to get the things that is being necessary guys so let's begin the video without wasting our time the let's start with the name of the event the name of the event is the ready of the uh, ready for the fight guys so basically in this particular event you there are different of the things okay first one is the kingdom points here you can collect out these rewards if your kingdom have already completed all the ones after then there is some of the individual uh, points guys if you are able to go on you can collect these ones also just try to follow the video till end so that you can get an overview that how you can unlock this one guys so basically let me tell you that if we talk about the earn points guys uh, basically there are different uh, categories uh, first one is uh, the soldier training second one is the soldier's advancement and third one is the skill enhancement points third uh, fourth and fifth one is something uh, useless so just neglect this one but the first three one is very much important if we talk about the soldier advancement point guys in the, for that one uh, if you are being confused let me tell you that unit advancement here whatever you are going to adva advance okay in different of the units uh that will be counted over there okay the second one is the enhancement here you can go on with the enhancement of the skill for different or the t13 t12 t11 whatever troops you con going to enhance you can go on with you uh, so that particular point is being counted over there and the third section is the particular training section guys so guys now let's talk about the trick guys so basically you have already seen that i have already scored out 14 million points that is being necessary for one the reason of that particular one is that first reason is that i am a very active non-spender for this particular castle means i used to participate in all the events that's why uh, i am having a lot of uh, free um, speed ups training speed ups i am having 100 I have uh, in today uh, uh, only I have spended around 5000 of the 2 hour training speed ups around uh, uh, 250 of the 12 hour speed ups and uh, some around 500 of the 8 hour speed ups for training out these particular one guys if you have that particular one then you can easily able to connect it with the uh, 14 million points and you can unlock all this one and let me tell you that uh, you can get 2 of the or double orange attribute array optional chest okay if you are going to complete the 14 million points in the your particular personal ranking and you can get one of the orange single orange attribute array optional chest if you are uh, if your kingdom have com completed 282 million of the points okay guys so these are the things that you need to uh, tally out after that let's come to the main point so basically guys the thing is that you have to set up your everything on the training one okay and the second thing is that you don't have to tra train out the higher level troops keep that man if you are able to train only t8 troops guys keep that in mind then you are ge getting one point for training one of the troops means in total you need to if we are calculated only about the t8 of the troops then i must say that you have to train 14 million of the t8 soldiers to claim out 14 million points guys and we know that perkla one guys as per a non-spender on this perkla castle i can directly say that getting speed ups these days are very easy guys you can easily uh, see about the uh, here guys if we talk about speed ups i'm have still i'm having eight hour speed ups around 19 uh, 
100 okay and after that you can see out here i'm having all the one uh, you can see here uh, the and central speed ups the occult is being also full and um, one hour speed ups research speed ups i am having 15k guys after that the building also like that one also i am having around 500 uh, 5000 plus of the uh, two hours training speed ups guys okay so i have consumed all of that particular one i have trained only and only the t8 of the soldiers i have trained around 6 million of the t8 of the infantry okay and uh, rest are the t8 of the uh, cavalry troops guys i have trained around uh, uh, i think 7 or 8 million of uh, 7 million of the t8 of the cavalry guys so one uh, soldier is giving, going to give you one point so these are the things that you need to do apart from this if you are going to choose any other way then it is really impossible for you to maintain that particular gap because if you are uh, using to train more upper level troops like t9 t10 then you are going to waste more of the speed ups more of the resources and at last if you are going to train uh, more of the troops let me uh, show you that particular one uh, the difference of that particular one uh, so that you can get over it you can see out here my point is 14 5 5 6 okay keep that in mind and uh, let me train some of the popular t12 okay i will train 7000 after that let's have a you can see out here so the uh, things are being uh, uh, upgraded on at a certain level okay but the thing is that if i am going to i have already spent uh, around two, two days speed ups and uh, still i am not uh, on the my uh, training uh, uh, setup so that is the thing that's why i have uh, um, used more of the speed ups for that particular one but on the training section also the upper level troops are going to consume more of the time first one second one more of the resources third one is fine iron also is being consumed and in for the t8 soldiers less speed ups less resources and none of the fine iron is being consumed so only of the speed ups is the only thing that you need to struggle on if you are going to manage yourself with the speed ups then the rewards will all use if we talk about the rewards at the final phase the rewards are quite representative as well as very affording guys and useful also equipment evolution stones 45 uh, array exercise sand table 45 it is really cool guys mining pickaxe 45 so basically the rewards are really really good i must appreciate them uh, because but uh, up to uh, 2.82 million nothing of the good rewards but after that all the rewards are super fantastic and really supportive guys so if you are not able to open up to 14 million try to activate up to 10 million so that you can get some of the uh, evolution stones and air exercise sand table guys so that's about luck also guys if you are active and you have enough of the speed ups then you can easily go on with that particular one else you need to struggle a lot guys so that's a lot today's video guys at present i am in a situation i am protecting our throne so let's skip that particular part and just leave it out that's all about today's video guys i hope that you guys like the video information if you find the video information useful please hit the like and subscribe button for sure i will be back with another video as soon as possible till then keep going with gamers forum thank you guys